Welcome to the Windows Club. If you encounter the error, a breakpoint has been reached. Error 0x8000003. While trying to access a software or an application on Windows 10 and it's associated with an application error code, then try the following solution sequentially. First of all, search for command prompt in the Windows search bar and click on run as administrator to open the elevated command prompt window. In the elevated command prompt window, type the command chk dsk space forward slash r and hit enter to run the check disk command this will check the hard drive for bad sectors and repair them upon restarting your computer but if this does not work try the sfc scan so type the command sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter this will invoke the system file checker command which will start checking your system for missing and corrupt files and replace them if possible. Should this option not help either, you can boot your system in the clean boot state. So press the windows key and the R button to open the run window. Type the command msconfig and hit enter to open the system configuration window. Go to the services tab and check the box associated with hide all Microsoft service. Then you may notice that a few other services may still be checked. So click on disable all and make sure that all the boxes are unchecked. Then click on apply and then on ok. It will give an option to restart your computer and click on restart to reboot your system in the clean boot state. In this case, no other third party program would be running in the background upon startup. The fourth solution would be to check your system for memory leaks. So the command to do so is mdsched.exe. Copy this. Open the run window once again using the windows key and the R button. Paste the command here and hit enter. This will launch the memory diagnostics tool and you can click on restart now and check for problems. If all of these solutions fail, then you can contact the developer of the software because the issue might also be with the software, especially with an unverified one. If the, all of these solutions were not helpful to you, then we may try to help you further. Go to the original article on the Windows Club Scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.